what I call a bonus. Bonus. The copper. Okay, well, that's awesome. Lucky okay, I had a feeling there was something around. I searched a couple streets over, and I searched here. Yeah, okay, awesome. so I've already pulled off the wire, copper wire inside. Number one wire insulated. It's all strippable if you want to. Well, the weather looks like it's changing, which is good. So it was raining earlier. here comes out there so we'll add both bonuses right all this year so we'll cut some of this separate the number one That was good. Another tank ready. I think that's number nine this month already. Not bad. Probably would have had more, but uh, I was kind of busy and tired. 
So I said, stay home. Plus I want to stop process, so if I go out every night, I can't process nothing. You need to process stuff too. Otherwise you get a black backlog, so much garbage. Can't keep up. So this one. there still not clean actually kind of thing you kind of have to cut it that way, I think, in half to properly do it, I think. It, but I'm gonna see what's inside it, how it works. Little different seals on there.
Sometimes it flies out, sometimes it doesn't. There's certain types that do. This one should fly, I think. <laughs> Not flying on me today. I'm bring my screwdriver. A better one here. So I'm going to cut one side.
Some come out, some don't. copper Aluminum, those pieces here. So thin veneer. Let's break this off here. So normally they strip easier than this, but this is also corroded and rusty, so. I see your water or something. Easier than that, but
This is the pain. I'll pry it off with this. Okay, well, we did it. Something else here. That's your fuse bar. That's number two copper. Steel. And these ones is what I do. So So Avenue is getting brass, right? Or brass? Not a lot, but hey. You don't get brass very much and you want to get brass. There's some things you gotta do. Let's wear your glasses. You have um, this thing.
There's the old. So uh, we can check to see what it is. It looks like aluminum, but we just grind it. Like it's brass. You know? There's the new brass. The five news of getting extra extra brass. Stuff's out there. We look at these two metals here. metal this one the other one's aluminum it's not sparking or nothing so it doesn't look it doesn't look like brass either so just gonna have to take it apart normally I'm just trying to cheat smack it apart but or something. So this is the first time they saw me use my punch, but I use my punch. I don't know if I need it, so I use it. If I don't need it, it just sits. This is pot metal. This could be brass veneer here. This little veneer here. So, a grinder to it. Brass. This pot metal here. This has got a little bit of uh, maybe brass here. But then again, it could be painted. Pop metal. Try to, try to fool you. Okay, hold for one second.
A little pot metal too. Could be brass here too. Sometimes when the bag it buckles it a bit. Too much. This brass, you can see it. Double check. I'm just going to knock it down and get the brass out. This is die cast hot metal. Same crap. So you get lots of these things all the time when you see these. There's another one actually. We get lots of these. There's cable cutter. If they're could always use a hammer. It's a little tougher. Chewy, it's a problem. When they snap, they're better. Oh, well, everyone's not turning out too good. Brass here. Well, oh, nothing wants to come off. I'll take the brass off first. Usually it breaks and it's so simple. These ones are obviously didn't go too good. But 
these are kind of like cheap ones. The good ones have lots of copper. These are just cheap, small. They're in wash machines, dishwashers, everywhere. Anywhere there's a mechanical switch or like a pump action. It just goes like in and out with that. Like a push motor. But it goes on pumps. Dishwashers, wash machines. You'll see them in the back where the water hooks up to, one side. You'll find often three or four of these. There's still copper in there, you could just go and shred. There is a little bit of copper there still. You don't really buy these for copper. But I know maybe years ago they used to do this, but now they just want uh, anything with steel. Steel and copper is okay, aluminum, but not plastic. Okay, so that's our um, lot here. Number two copper. Just to confirm, uh, not heavy, but like if you get lots of stoves, right? We do add up. Play a knickknack box. All kinds of little knickknacks in there. Brass right here. And bring a little tip here. It's brass. Valve from uh, propane for a barbecue. More of these things here. Stainless steel here. 
need to do something to it, take the screw out. Try my drill first. I'm looking for a black, the black one there might work. It's a black bit. This one might work. It's a little bigger. This one's all boxed off. Huh? Stripped out already. now this bit's shot looks shot I want my car here so tight I'm leaving you're a big screw that's hard to uh hard to cut with the axe See nothing like it. They're pretty heavy stainless. It's heavy stuff.
It's worth more uh, as a unit, but just showing you how things can be done, right? You know, if you don't know what we're doing, trying to, trying to teach what we can. This is a shop box, I've never seen that one before. It's the newest one. Some kind of aluminum here, almost like foil, with a heat sink. Check under. A real fine screwdriver. Sink aluminum, it's got a steel risers. Yeah, and remember, uh, I said to save this last time. See, that's how you knock your pins out. They have different sizes. See, you get them out of transformers and stuff. I think they all could have been transformers, except uh, this one here was something else. I don't know. I landed on top, but didn't. It's over full. Still went in. Okay. Aluminum. Hold See what second. kind of weight we got here for what we did here, just for a little amount of time. That's brass. Pot weighs one pound, so we got three and a half pounds of brass. This is gonna be number one copper. One point four pounds. Number one. Number two. Two point two pounds. Another piece of brass here. So it shows you. It adds up. Okay, we're gonna um. What I want to do is I want to get my tires. That's my important thing is get my tires. It's almost two o'clock. Let me put this away here. Get this tire thing going and see if I can strip all those tires and dump those tires today. Okay, hold on. They got these Pirelli tires. Look at it. They don't even flex nothing. They're garbage. You can't get them off. Even cutting them off, I'm having a hell of a time trying to get it to come off even though I cut both sides. Crazy. That bottom came up really good. Okay.
Use your zinc. You can hear they bounce. Okay, so I'll tell you some of the tires, those Pirellis, every one that's old can't get it off. It's a nightmare. So I don't, uh, almost like don't feel like even grabbing them through that, that much of a problem. Even trying to cut it to a blade's shot, but I think I have another blade here. Maybe you know. Not sure. Zinc again. See, likely spam. It's always get a spam calls all the time, every day. You can answer them. Asking to buy something or charity or who knows what. Here, oh, just a budge. Hmm, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. Four Pirellis, they all gave me a problem. I could probably break the bead, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get my tool in here. The tire is so hard, it doesn't flex. Even when I cut both sides here, like this here on both sides, I couldn't get the tire out. I had to cut it completely around to get the tire out. Somehow the compounds turn super hard. Uh, like I say, I want to uh, be doing Pirellis, man. They're a nightmare. I think my tires back since uh, the rain more. Don't have a lot, but hey, less garbage in the yard looks better. So all the all the rims are done. I have to cut the prollies. All the other ones came off no problem except uh, this really big one. I have to cut that one, but it would cut super easy. Yeah, more tires, but like see, like bicycle tires mostly, but no biggie. Haven't found many tires in a while actually, but I found probably about 70 or 80 for the year already. Quite a few. Oh, surprised it's just dry. This tire is pretty dry. Oh, all this rubber is coming out of my car.
weird how no water's inside them. Hard to believe. Not too worried, I'm gonna have more tires. I mean, I got probably eight tires there, got one tire sitting there. No big problem. Eight bicycles, or four bicycles, eight tires. If I clean stuff, it's, I'm accomplishing stuff. But I don't, if I leave it sitting there, Looks like nothing's being done. Okay, let's give those tires. Hopefully come back and strip that uh, air, air, air compressor and then we can maybe load that up in the HMS and do that today, it'd be nice. Clean the area up a bit. Okay, we're almost at tire place. Too busy. Oh, you lots of trucks that were uh, kind of a lousy time, maybe. Okay, well, hold tight, Let's see what happens. That whole that truck they had there, the five ton, that was all for tires. They're taking it to get it processed. They take it to Annis's Island, they're somewhere. And they grind it all up, they separate all the belts and all the uh, steel with the magnets, all that, so you're stuck with a rubber product, right? I was throwing tires, another guy in a little pickup truck next to me, he was throwing tires, and then the other guys were throwing tires, it was hilarious. And like eight guys in there, like working like crazy, trying to get tires in there, but I guess they could put, what, I don't know, maybe 500 tires in there, I'm not really sure. I mean, I had 10 tires, so 50 would be, like the truck would take, I would say these 500 tires, I think. Uh, you know, average, you know, pickup truck, I mean, tires, like that kind of stuff. Not semis, but. Anyways, tires are gone, that's good. Uh, like I say, when I see clean, it looks like I prog had progress. If I see tires everywhere, junk and scrap and metal, then my progress looks like it's not too good. So anyways, okay, we're gonna head back there. We have to process a couple things and we're gonna do HMS run, okay? Tell you man, definitely psychic because I I was gonna go that road coming this way for a different area. I said I'll go up this way instead. What are the chances? What are the chances? It's unbelievable. So no joke here I'll grab. What are the chances? Unbelievable. Like if literally I could have went that way, wouldn't wouldn't have saw it. I don't think. I mean, it's possible. Oh, no, there's a car there. Probably not. It's a big triangle here. <coughs> That's amazing. Easy, not too heavy. Instant load on a hill, so it gives you the extra strength. Um, this whole area is coming down here. So I used to get scrap on that street down there. There's a bag over there. So let's see what it is. Like garbage but uh looks like garbage but all, this is all abandoned people like uh homeless people were in here that's where i got a pot there it was all burnt out they're melt using to heat yourself i guess but uh, what are the chances to see this is where it came up let me see if i would see it that's amazing if i went this way which I thought it was going this way because I was interested in this looking down here when I've seen it. Mm, yeah, I could have maybe seen it. I mean, I, I could see good, so I could definitely see farther than closer. But that was awesome. So this whole block is coming out here. They're going to be a 
I would say condos for sure. Or they could subdivide it for smaller houses, right? That's another possibility. But this town is gonna be being built up like crazy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how it's built. My uh, duplex is right behind here. Behind this house, I believe, here, right here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Oh, is there something right there? I see there. Something steering. What is that? Oh, yes. Pear. <laughs> Unbelievable. The psychic man finds the scrap. It's another dryer. Is that weird? They come in two, or they come in twos. What are the chances? Me sniffing another one out. I'll check inside because some people throw weird stuff inside. Even got a cord. What are the chances? Nice long cord. What are the chances? Okay, well, like I say, I'm happy. That's how things go in this world, for me anyways. Okay, off. Box of bottles. Just like that. Am I gonna make the scrap heard? Who knows? The way I'm finding stuff, you never know. Okay, Two bottles. One, Twenty-six. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Not bad. Works out for me. Okay. We're gonna move over here now and then I'm gonna actually I'm gonna move that way. No that way. So we can start loading that other stuff up. Oh, I want them to get uh the dolly and the scrap too. Dolly here. Hmm. It's just um, hmm. not too bad actually. Let's keep it as a yard dolly. This one's okay, but it's uh, wheels are might go eventually. Okay, let me go over there. Hold on.
Shocks are heavy. Oh. Quite a bit actually for weight wise. Stuff's heavy. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna check these ones here. Don't know what to expect, it could be in there. Maybe it took them out. I found one that had some in. I guess they're all out. Okay, so. Oh, here's one. Yeah, let me get the compressor here. Stand by. Oh, kind of stupid. This doesn't hammer. It just kills your wrist. Breaks your wrist off. 
Look at those strippers. I'm just going to salt the way it is. Hmm. I'm still going to take it off because it's built in a frame. Ah, I didn't think that. Copper here. No. So copper number two. Should be some brass there too. Sexy brass again here. Paint all over it, it's slippery. It's hardened steel, but the blade is old, so no big deal. Probably wrecked the blade up, but it's kind of way it goes. These are all used blades, kind of give it a second chance. Or, you know, one or two cuts if I have to. Easy just to 
break it. Tough to break. Wow. Thought it would break. Pry it off or something. Bolts are so rusty looking there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to cut that. that way gotta cut it no matter what so Bet you never seen that done before, huh? Take that wheel off. Forty nine, close to four thirty. Still pretty heavy. Ah, uh, still need quite a bit of weight, I think. It's worth worth a run for sure. This one here is a really heavy rim, really heavy. I'm gonna guess it, um, 800 pounds, I'm gonna say. Maybe a little more. Could be more. It's got weight. Okay, I'm saying 800 pounds. It's actually pretty heavy. Okay, I took that load back. It was actually pretty good. I didn't expect it to be that heavy, but. 
1120 pounds 290 a ton a $2 surcharge and then uh, total was um, 16040 not bad it's worth saving your uh, HMS see it adds up fast that's like a that's like almost it's like a ton ton of tin right so anyways pretty good so one one sixty and forty cents okay that's it for the video guys I was like I say I'm surprised I thought it was gonna be I was thinking in my bed last night turning and tossing thinking about maybe 600 then I thought oh compressor then I thought maybe that uh, dolly and I'm gonna get my 800 but no even better okay guys have a great day thanks for watching